Hello everybody, um, thank you for watching the other videos on joined up handwriting. Today we're going to do our last joined up handwriting before we do something a little bit different with handwriting next week. So we're going to see if we can join up the letters to make the word boat. We are not going to join the B to the O because that's a letter drawing we don't learn in year one. So we're just going to keep the B on its own and then join up the O, the A and the T. So here I have drawn myself a really simple boat outline and I'm going to see if I can write the word boat along the edges of my outline. So I'm always keeping my letters on the line. So here we go. Remember you can practice first, so I'm going to have a little practice run. So you can do your B, remember you bounce back up and over and round. Okay, and then leave that one on its own, you don't need that one any more to join and then we're going to do our next letter so this is a new join we're going from the O round and round and round remember stir the pot and stop and then we go straight out across the top sorry the doors just open or you can hear my big washing machine going round and then down and up like that okay so can you see here <laughs> Here's my kitten, she's come to help me. Thank you, lovely. So here we have the O joining to the A across the top, which is a join we haven't done before. Most of our joins have been at the bottom here, but this join is growing across the top. It's a bit like a pair of glasses. Let's do that again. Remember, start from the top, down, bounce back up and round. Okay, and then I'm going to do my O. Remember, we'll start at the top. It's going to be... Blurry, hold on, there we go. Start at the top, round, stir the pot and stop, round, back on yourself, and then all the way up and down. Cross it through. But these letters should be the same size as the round bit of your book. And then that should be in line with the cross on your t. Okay, so they're all the same size. And then your t top should be the same height as your b. Okay, and then you can have a go, see if you can write it round your boat. So I'm going to start over here. Bounce up, and round, and then join it together. Take it nice and slowly. Your handwriting has just been beautiful. The ones that we've seen on your videos on Twitter, fantastic. So thank you very much for doing those. Right, I'm going to carry on doing the rest of my boat and I'll see you in a minute. So as you can see, I have now written the word boat all the way around the outside. Now I had to turn my paper as I was writing it to make sure I followed the lines. So here, look, I turn the paper, turn the paper again, to try and follow the line so I can make it sit on the line all the way around. When I got to here, at the bottom of my boat, I realised I wasn't going to fit another word on the end here. The space wasn't long enough to fit my word on, so I knew I needed to stop there and start doing it on this side instead. Okay, and there's my boat. And then you'll see on your um, homework that the next thing I said to do is to see if you can practice making some wavy lines. So at the bottom here, I'll see if I can do some wavy lines. You can do short ones, you can do long ones, go even further. They can go up and down. Just have fun with it. Seeing if you can make some nice wavy lines to look like the C. Okay. And enjoy yourself doing all these different lines. See if you can put them in different places. So it looks like your boat is in the water. And if you've got colours at home, you can colour it in. You can even add some fishies in your water if you want to, or some starfish. You decide. Okay, and there's your boat. You can put a person on your boat and a sunshine in the sky. Enjoy and make sure you put your photographs on Twitter for us. Best of luck and see you all next week. Bye.